Today we will learn about circulatory system in humans. So today we will divide this video into two parts. The part of circulatory system are blood, blood vessels and heart. So the part one is mainly based about blood and the second part based upon blood vessels and heart. So let's start with the part blood. So blood is the main component of circulatory system. Now we will learn about the components of blood. So the blood is one of the most important parts of the circulatory system. Blood is a special body fluid that acts as a medium for transporting substances inside the body. It helps to transport digested food from the small intestine to all the parts of the body. Then the second point, oxygen from lungs to all the cells of the body and carbon dioxide from the cells to the lungs. And also it transports waste products from all the cells to the kidneys for extraction. So now blood is made of blood plasma and the blood cells. So first plasma. First we will learn about plasma. Plasma, it is a yellowish liquid part of the blood. It is mainly made of, up of water. It helps to transport digested food and waste products as they easily dissolve in water. Blood cells, three types of blood cells are present in the blood. Red blood cells, white blood cells and the platelets. Now as Ashish told that they are, there are three types of blood cells. First is the RBCs or red blood cells. Second WBCs, white blood cells and the third is platelet. So first we will learn about the red blood cells or RBCs. So these are disc shaped cells consisting of red pigment hemoglobin. They help to transport oxygen. Hemoglobin combines with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin. In cells oxyhemoglobin breaks down to release oxygen into the cells which is then utilized for respiration. Now hemoglobin when combines with oxygen it converts to oxyhemoglobin. Next we will learn about the white blood cells or WBCs. White blood cells these are larger than red blood cells but fewer in number. They are colorless without a specific shape. They fight germs and, and that enter to our body and protect us from diseases. Now, after that, now we will learn about the platelets. Platelets, these are very small cells that help in clotting the blood whenever we get a cut or wound. So the platelets help in clotting the wound. Okay. Next we will learn in the part 2 about the heart and blood vessels. So till then bye. Next in a healthy adult human, about 2 million red blood cells are formed every second. So next fact. Oily and fried food contains a substance called 
cholesterol which is deposited in our arteries and blocks them blockage in arteries reduces the supply of blood to the heart and increases the chances of heart attack